Ladies and gentlemen, we back with some Jujutsu Kaisen. Only three episodes left. Very excited getting to the tail end of it. What's going on, guys? My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me Aishinobi. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we have episode 22 of our Jujutsu Kaisen watch stream named The Origin of Blind Obedience. Very interesting title. So I'm assuming they're going to sort of start setting up for the future of the show. Like I said, especially since we are getting to the tail end of things, they can't start off a ton of stuff. I imagine we'll get into some minor plot points. So I'm very interested to see kind of what they tease for the future, especially considering they can go so many ways with it last episode of course was the sort of conclusion episode to the group battle event and i guess all the curses invading it kind of just wrapped all that up and now i'm excited to see where we go next if you're new to the channel drop a sub hit that big boy bell so don't miss any future episodes so without a like on this one let's just hop right into it uh oh we know flashing lights basically means curse coming in hot hey you dead or you very dead Okay, well, very interesting start. Oh, they all dead? It's a new case. It's interesting how they always start off as like, it seems like, like police cases in a way. Mm, so the property managers might be involved. So it's only when they complain. Oh. Oh, yeah, the camera that was on it. Mm. But why? Oh, we're just getting, like, right into a new, uh, sort of mission. But there's a pretty good chance it's the same one for the same cases. Maybe it's a past student that they went to school with. Like, the, the curse is, like, being kind of... Mm. Like, it's being manifested. Yeah, from the middle school. Ooh. Detectives! <laughs> I am the smartest out of us three. I think she is probably the smartest, because she goes probably close second. It's Adori. He struggles sometimes. We still love him, though. Oh. This is literally like a detective case. It's very interesting. It's a cold case! As long as you don't take more than 48 hours. But she says it's been a minute, so... The lead might be dead dead. <laughs> Obvious punks. Is it the haircut? The cigarettes? They actually just setting them straight? They're probably talking about the, the woman with them. Oh. Oh, Fushiguro knows him. Ah. Oh, wait, that's a big deal. Why did he not say anything? What was he like? <laughs> he just alpha everyone in the area. He's like, darn right, baby. Don't get twisted. He might like regret his past or not want to revisit it. No wonder he was colder than usual. Dang, they're strict. Dang, this show just hops right back into stuff. Like I guess the pacing's immaculate. So they're very strict about guests. Even he recognizes them. <laughs> it's like, I don't have to do anything. You know your way around. What was their connection? Yeah, I mean, how much could he really tell? It's impressive that he can remember those students. That'd be so weird to work at like a school, see people just grow up so much. <laughs> huh? Hey, they could be of help! Oh god. Uh, of course it was. Uh, of course it was. <laughs> His face! <laughs> I love it, Dory. Hmm. But they didn't jump. That's spooky, dude. My goodness. Could have happened. Of course not. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say that's probably a super cursed area. Uh. He's still he has a tear in his eye from Fushiguro hitting him. <laughs> yeah. 
See, that's what they stole from the school, too. Alongside the Sukuna finger. Oh my god. It is beyond money at this point, my man. Oh. Oh. Oh god, he's bleeding from his eyes! Anytime Mahito's on screen, bro, I just gotta prep myself mentally. So they're probably involved, gonna be honest. Hey, so there's three- I don't understand those- what did they call them? Paintings? Last episode, they said still three- nobody called them? I don't remember. I'll just flash. Oh no. Ah! Ah, uh, is he sending him to the bridge? No shot, right? Things would escalate that high and that quickly again. It's just a regular schmegular bridge. Counted fish cake is there, Pog. Case goes cold. This music is so cursed. Really? Ding ding! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Isidori is rubbing off so hard on her. Wait, he actually tried with a string? Oh my god! <laughs> She's realizing her hands are full. Oh. They saw something. She <laughs> forgot? She knows something. Is this some investigating? Can't tell her too much in case it is a bait. Her curse is following her. She's freaking me out, man. Oh! Ah! That is terrifying. She knew she needed, like, protection or something, because she's inevitably next. Why? So she has about a week until it tries to actually kill her. They're probably gonna use her as, like, a... Not a bait, because they don't want her to die. Who'd you go with? Gotta play it careful. I like her. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Oh, his sister. Huh. That's interesting that we're gonna find out a little bit about his family relationship. They asked if she was okay or if she's doing okay, and he said yes. But in a way that, like, I don't know if he's, like, disconnected from her or doesn't talk to her or what. This is all so spooky, dude. Crack this bad boy wide open. So quickly. Mm. Do we know much about his family? I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering. I guess it could be anyone that she went with. So their, their squad is kind of stacked, inherently. He knows if they do, she dies. Right? Oh, I guess he's saying if he leaves, if they have a better, a worse chance of making sure she lives. Because mm. they're doomed. Mm, no, she's fine right now. Sounds like a ticking time bomb. Mm, he's, he's taking a lot, a lot of responsibility onto his shoulders from this case. He's going alone, dude. Gotta come out eventually. They did, wait, did they follow him? Yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, they popped out of nowhere. I'm so glad. Oh my god. Huh. Crossing the veil. There it is. There's the domain. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, it did tease like the things on his forehead. That's the one. 
This thing's crazy. Oh, wait, that's that's the thing Mahito made. He made it to, like probably to protect this other one. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, he sent it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Yo, my boy Itadori is cracked now, though. He learned quite a bit from Toto. God, that's that dude's face. Oh, my gosh. How did they just pull these insane scenarios out in one episode? Like I said, I thought these last three were going to kind of wrap it up and just world build a little bit more. But it's just throwing us more into some action. Oh, no. Ain't no problem. Which is where he's like, oh yeah, I'll take the mood. <laughs> Gameless. He's listening so intently. How's this juju stroll gonna turn around? It's always. <laughs> いただきます。全然肉の味しなくてほぼつなぎと out for Shigeru's character even more. We're learning about his sister and what, what she's had to go through. So I guess he's had this on his mind the whole time that she's been in this state and could die at any moment. And that he's 100% going to go on this mission but didn't inherently want to endanger Itadori and Nobuda, I guess. At least that's what I took from it. And that now he has this opportunity to free both his sister and any other people from ever having this basically ticking time bomb put in them from this curse. So There's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of personal flame from Shigeru in this fight. But guys, that has been it for episode episode 22 of our Jujutsu Kaisen watch through. Let me know if you thought of the episode down in the comments below. Let me know if, if I missed anything, especially because there was a lot in that one. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.